Since her accession to the Danish royal family in 2004, Queen Mary of Denmark has attracted considerable attention. From her marriage to King Frederick of Denmark to her active participation in royal duties, she is always dressed in stylish and elegant outfits. Over the years of being in the spotlight at various royal events and events, the mother of four has established herself as a fashionable figure, her natural grace and elegance shining through her timeless outfits. From casual yet chic outfits to ball gowns and impeccably tailored haute couture, the Australian queen is known for her ability to seamlessly and effortlessly transition from a daytime wardrobe to an evening one with unsurpassed sophistication. The Queen of Denmark is so stylish that she has surpassed the need to be fashionable or wear the latest luxury designs from the world's fashion houses. In fact, she often re-wears her clothes, especially the most expensive things for her. She has looked flawless for two decades, and here we will look at her best outfits dot together with a delegation of other European royals. Queen Mary and her husband King Frederick were invited to a dinner at the Elysi Palace. Organized by the International Olympic Committee at the Louvre in honor of the Olympic Games in Paris 2024. The event, which took place two days before the opening ceremony, was a real celebration of fashion, food and interstate relations. For this occasion, Mary chose a red sleeveless jumpsuit with a high collar and a thin built-in belt and belt that gently accentuates her waist from Max Mara. The Danes met King Frederick and Queen Mary in Graston, where they arrived on July 9, 2024, to begin their summer stay at Graston Castle. This year, the King and Queen are hosting guests at the residence for the first time, having previously spent the summer at Friedensburg Palace. The Australian Queen was gorgeous in a green and white patterned dress with short lantern sleeves, an accentuated waist, and an airy layered skirt complemented by a brown hat and shoes. To complete the week-long royal tour of Greenland, Mary and her husband attended an unofficial dinner at the Katuak Center. For the special occasion, Mary wore a custom-made dress from the luxury brand Terry John by Ricky Freeman. The dress with a stand-up collar, a long skirt, and an accentuated waist with gold jewelry definitely made an impression. The dress was complemented with 18 karat gold winter frost earrings from the Danish brand Ole Lingard, a diamond tennis bracelet from Dulong Fine Jewelry and Gold Stiletto Heels. At the end of June, Queen Mary, along with her husband King Frederick and children Prince Vincent and Princess Josephine, visited the island of Kekertarsuak in Greenland. For this occasion, Mary chose a dark blue coat and a red hat complemented by a brown shoulder bag. Queen Mary has changed from her usual high fashion look to a more relaxed summer look for the prom of her son, Crown Prince Christian. Her lovely print midi skirt matched perfectly with a beautiful white blouse and simple brown shoes. Over the years, Mary has paid tribute to her Australian roots by wearing outfits from her favorite Australian fashion brands, including Zimmerman, Appearing at the annual Maritansang event in honor of the longest day of the year at Wart College in Denmark, the queen wore this gorgeous orange ankle length dress with a white lily pattern from this brand. She complemented the chic outfit with a pair of orange Malone Sulier shoes and massive earrings, each decorated with a large bluish green stone. Queen Mary, along with her husband King Frederick, Mother-in-law Queen Margrethe and Aunt Princess Benedicta attended a special ceremony dedicated to the 175th anniversary of the Danish Constitution at Holman's Church and Christiansborg Palace in Copenhagen. Mary looked gorgeous in a fuchsia dress with puffy sleeves from Andrew Gian, a light brown hat and stylish nude shoes. The Queen was the epitome of elegance greeting fans from the balcony of the Amalienborg Palace in Copenhagen. Mary has previously worn this bright pink long sleeve dress from Italian fashion brand NO.21 from the spring-summer 2018 collection five times, for the first time at her husband's 50th birthday celebration 
in 2018. Given her well known love of sustainable fashion and the frequent reuse of outfits, it is not surprising that the Queen was invited to speak at the opening of the Global Fashion Summit in Copenhagen on May 22. She urged the audience to work together for the sake of a fashion industry that gives more than it takes away from people and the planet. For this occasion, she chose her plum lace blouse from Jasper Hovering, a multicolored silk skirt and yellow Swedish shoes from John Vito. No matter what color, the mother of four always looks great in an evening dress. During a state visit to Norway, the Queen and her husband King Frederick were invited to a state banquet hosted by King Harald at the Royal Palace in Oslo. For this occasion, she chose a gorgeous lilac dress by Birgit Hallstein Couture, an outfit that she first wore in 2015 to the wedding of Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia of Sweden. The look was complemented by an exquisite lilac scarf and decorated with a Danish tiara with pearl piers. With the warm months approaching, Mary chose a stylish spring outfit for her official state visit to Norway, very different from the long skirts and coats she has worn since becoming queen. Her multicolored midi skirt was accentuated by a light blue floral headdress, pink shoes and a pink belt, and a cream wool jacket from Ralph Lauren completed the look. The queen was the epitome of elegance in red, greeting the crowds as she boarded the royal yacht Dannebrog to return home to Denmark after a two-day state visit to Sweden. Her high-necked mid-calf dress, typical of Mary's style, was combined with a camel scarf, which was an interesting addition. In honor of the first state visit of Queen Mary and King Frederick after their coronation, Queen Sylvia of Sweden and King Carl Gustaf of Sweden organized a state banquet in their honor at the Stockholm Palace. Given the significance of the event, the Australian Queen donned a Danish tiara, set along with the prestigious Star of the Order of the Elephant, a ribbon, and a Star of the Swedish Order of Seraphim, as well as a traditional portrait of the reigning monarch. As for her dress, she looked like a real queen in an embroidered maroon floral corset by Jasper Hovering, which fit her perfectly, and a floor-length silk skirt in gold color. After arriving on Swedish shores, Mary swapped her navy blue outfit for this cream tweed dress by Mark Kelly Domino. With her loving husband by her side and a beautiful bouquet of flowers in her hands, Mary was all smiles as she boarded the royal ship Dannebrog to depart for Sweden on a state visit on May 2nd. Her navy polka dot dress matched perfectly with shoes and a white headdress from Maggie Mowbray Millinery. Over the past two decades, Queen Mary of Denmark has established herself not only as an outstanding representative of the royal family, but also as a style icon whose outfits embody sophistication, elegance, and sustainability. Her ability to combine modern trends with classics while remaining true to her unique style is admirable and inspiring. Mary actively uses her platform to promote important issues such as sustainable development and responsible fashion consumption, demonstrating that true elegance lies not only in appearance, but also in the values that we support. The continuity in her style highlights her commitment to the ideas of sustainability and informed choice. The repeated wearing of her favorite outfits and the choice of environmentally friendly brands speak to her desire for a long-term impact on the fashion industry. This is becoming especially relevant in the light of modern challenges related to ecology and social responsibility. Queen Mary is not just a fashion icon, she is an example of how to combine personal elegance with responsibility and concern for the future. Her example shows that fashion can be not only beautiful, but also meaningful, that true royal grace comes from inner harmony and striving for a better world. Inspired by her example, we can rethink our own approach to fashion and life in general, choosing the path of awareness and caring for the planet and each other.